Talk a little bit about that. Tell us a little bit about, you know, how you approach that, um, why you think this is important for us to dig into. Right. Well, um, Rhythm Changes is based on the George Gershwin tune, I've Got Rhythm. Um, and there's a lead sheet there, and we'll talk a bit later about the structure of the harmony. But, you know, it's this song... Right. So I actually in my I have a course that I teach at Berkeley um, that a lot of these things come from over the years. And, and the reason why I present it or I'm presented to a lot of my students is because in the structure, the harmonic structure of the song. First of all, the reason why there's so many rhythm change tunes is because it's challenging and fun to play on the, the harmony. Right. Um, and there's sort of a tradition about what we call playing the changes so that when I'm playing my melodic line that you will hear the changes. And in the case of this chord progression, they go by pretty fast. They're two beats each. So that's always the challenge. Like how do you create melodies on harmony that moves fast? But the, the important thing about why I like to use this is because the first part of that chord progression is what we call one, six, two, five. So in this case, it's in B flat. So we have B flat major, G7, going to C minor 7, F7. So 1, 6, 2, 5. Uh, and then it goes 3, 6, 2, 5. Now, guess what? That's also what is considered a turnaround in a tune. So if you're going to play standards, almost every song is going to have a turnaround. So that little harmonic pattern is in thousands of songs besides rhythm changes. So number one, if you learn to figure that out, you're going to be ready for learning lots of tunes. The other little nugget of harmony that is in the song that's in thousands of other tunes is the second four bars is what we call two, five to four. So in the keys of B flat would go F minor seven, B flat seven, E flat major seven, and then it goes to, we call it flat seven, seven. That little nugget is also a little harmonic pattern that's in thousands of tunes. So I feel like that's when you're learning a tune, one tune, you're actually learning how to play many tunes because these patterns keep repeating. So those are the two patterns, so the turnaround, one, six, two, five. The second pattern is the two, five to four, and then the flat seven, seven. Thousands of tunes really do this. And then the third really important harmonic pattern that relates to also thousands of songs is the B section. So what we might call the rhythm bridge. And that is a series of dominant sevenths that move in cycle four. So that's a foundational principle of so many things. So in this case, in the, in the B flat rhythm change, it's D seven going to G seven. So that's moving in fourths. So actually earlier in the warm up, I said something about really knowing about cycle four. This is why D7 goes up a fourth to G7, goes up a fourth to C7, goes up a fourth to F7. That little, that little cell of a harmonic pattern is something that is just permeates standard chord progressions and jazz chord progressions. So, so my thing is if you really learn a rhythm change, not only will you have a practical format, you can go to a jam session, somebody's going to call a rhythm change. Okay, I got that. I know how to do that. But you're going to take all those little bits of harmony, those harmonic patterns, and you're going to see them in lots of other places. So, so that's why I think it's a really important thing. Um, song form, harmonic form, and also just a song to check out. Cool. Great explanation there. That's a really good explanation. Gives everybody, you know, some real good insight into why they should dig into this and study this. So remember, everyone, if you've got any questions about this for Cheryl, drop them in the chat. Um, we will get to as many as we can between explanations. Um, Cheryl has pr prepared basically three different um uh, solos here to, to take a look at. Um, and all of this, uh, these videos, as well as tab and everything is available in the channel right now. I believe we've got all of that turned on. So go to the uh, day two, uh, performance one on demand, two and three, you should have those videos there and uh, any tab and notation should be there. So that's all of it available there. Remember this whole 
show is going to be recorded. It's being recorded. Um, and it will be posted back in the camp channel uh, within 24 hours. So you'll be able to rewatch this um, if you need to, you know, check some stuff out, including the amazing echo I had going on at the beginning, which is fabulous.